14. Weirdest looking jellyfish. Number 14. Diplomaris antarctica. This is a smaller species of jellyfish growing to around 4 centimeters wide. They have up to 48 compressed white tentacles and it's found in the South Pacific Ocean and the Antarctic Peninsula. Number 13. Blue jellyfish. This species is found off the west coast of Scotland, the Irish Sea, and the North Sea. They can have a yellow or blue tone and grow to around 20 centimeters. The creature has many stinging tentacles, and its four mouth arms display many ripples and wrinkles. Number 12. Cassiope jellyfish. It's found in shallow mangrove swamps and mudflats of Florida and the Caribbean. They're also known as upside down jellyfish due to the habit of living upside down on the bottom. When gathered together, numerous individuals may exhibit varying shades of blue, green, white, and brown. They do carry a mild sting, which can result in a red skin irritation that is unusually itchy. Number 11. Purple striped jellyfish. This species lives primarily in Monterey Bay off the California coast. Its bell can reach over two feet in diameter and typically displays stripes in a radial pattern. Individuals normally have eight long dark arms and four frilly central arms. While they rarely sting humans, it is known to be extremely painful. Number 10. Crystal jellyfish. This creature is found in the waters off the west coast of North America. The species is totally colorless. In daylight, it looks crystal clear. You can get a sense of that clarity in the picture by Matt Stansfield. Crystal jellies are known to be bioluminescent, capable of producing quick flashes of blue and green light. Some of that ability is shown in the photo from Gary Kavanaugh. The bioluminescence is created by an interaction of proteins that creates a blue-green light, which is re-emitted as a green light. Scientists have inserted the animal's gene that contains the green fluorescent protein into mice, and when hit with blue light, those rodents glow green. Number nine. Moon jellyfish. This label encompasses several species. They're usually translucent, up to 16 inches in diameter, and identified by their four gonads. They are horseshoe-shaped and easily glimpsed through the top of its bell. They're found throughout the world's oceans and will usually drift with the current. Did you know that one species of moon jellyfish have a reversed life cycle? They actually grow younger instead of older. Maybe it's kind of a Benjamin Button jelly. Number eight, black sea nettle. These creatures take the name from their coloration. It's also known as the black jellyfish and is found in the Pacific Ocean. It's the only West Coast jelly with this dark pigmentation. You can see the deep crimson color in the photo by Sean Lana. These carnivorous creatures can be massive. Its bell can reach up to a meter in diameter, and it has stinging tentacles that extend up to six meters. They use the venom to kill smaller prey like zooplankton, but it's non-lethal to humans. This is still a somewhat mysterious species since it is relatively new to science and are rarely sighted, but when they are, it's often as part of a massive swarm of the animals. Did you know these nettles have no excretory or respiratory organs? Number seven, fried egg jellyfish. No doubt this picture from Rich Carey gives you a vivid idea of why this jelly got that name. It is also known as a Mediterranean jellyfish, but it still looks like someone broke an egg in the ocean. And that would be an enormous egg, considering their bell measures around two feet in diameter. In another photo by Verlaine Crevette, you can see a smaller species of the jelly. This one can measure up to 50 centimeters across. What appears to be a collection of white and purple pebbles around the creature's sides is actually the jelly's truncated arms and projections with disc-shaped ends. Look closely and you can see tiny fish hiding out under the creature's bell. Number six. Deepsteria enigmatica. This creature caused quite a stir when a deep sea remote operated camera captured it. A lot of people thought it was some sort of blob like sea monster, but it turned out to be a giant jellyfish. It was located around 5,000 feet below in the South Atlantic Ocean and was reportedly filmed during deep sea drilling near the UK. The creatures are rarely seen intact and has organs and appendages not usually seen on a jellyfish. 
Before it was identified, there were guesses that it might be a whale placenta or even a Stygia medusa gigantea. Those creatures can grow up to 6 meters long and have only been sighted 115 times in 110 years. Number 5. Box jellyfish. These creatures are distinguished by their cube shape. They're also distinguished by their venom, which is extremely potent. Stings from certain species of box jellies produce excruciating pain and can be fatal to humans. Tentacles of these creatures can reach nearly 10 feet and contain around 5,000 stinging cells per tentacle. Among the deadliest box jellies are the lion's mane jellyfish, with a toxic sting that causes muscle paralysis, leading to heart attack. But it's the tiniest of the species that can pose the biggest threat to humans? The Irukandji jelly is the world's smallest and most venomous box jellyfish. Its sting is 100 times as potent as a cobra's. Number 4. For reasons that should be apparent, it's commonly referred to as the Darth Vader jellyfish. Scrutinize the picture and see if it doesn't bear an uncanny resemblance to that Sith Lord. It's considered a Narca Medusae, an order of hydrozones that inhabit the open seas and deep waters. Number 3. Brand New Jelly Earlier in 2016, a deep water exploration mission at the Mariana Trench discovered an amazing species of jellyfish, one previously unknown to science. The orb-like creature was found at a depth of 3,700 meters and kind of resembles a Christmas tree ornament. So far, experts haven't assigned a precise name to the weird-looking hydromedusae, but what would you call it? Number 2. Portuguese Man of War we're cheating a bit with this one. While this creature may resemble a jellyfish, it's actually a saphonifa, a colonial organism comprised of individual animals called zooids. Photographer Matthew Smith took some pictures of the creature in Australia. They're also identified as blue bottles. They make the sea waves glow with a neon blue thanks to bioluminescence. Experts think jellies and saphonifers use the process to ward off predators. The animals normally inhabit tropical waters and have no means of propulsion. They're carried along by wind currents and tides. That doesn't mean they're helpless or harmless. The creatures have tentacles that can deliver a painful sting, which can be potentially dangerous to humans. Number 1. Barrel Jellyfish you know, these creatures seem to have an affinity for the UK. In 2014, large numbers of them were spotted off the beaches of Cornwall. It's thought that warm weather and a plentiful supply of plankton enticed them to visit the area. The animals are easily recognized by the smooth bell shape and tentacles that resemble cauliflower. Those tentacles contain hundreds of minuscule mouths, stinging cells, and a digestive system. Now the following year, in 2015, tens of thousands of these jellyfish were spotted swarming off the coast of Dorset. More than three feet wide and five feet long, the barrel jellyfish weigh around 70 pounds, and it's the largest species found in southwest Britain. And while they can sting humans, those stings are not strong enough to cause any serious harm, although swimmers are advised to stay clear. Experts think the sudden invasion had to do with overfishing. That would have left fewer predators to eat the jellyfish when they were smaller and younger.